Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Design Tech. And in today's episode, we are going to be setting up a big reactor. I think we're long overdue for some really powerful power gen. So, let's go ahead and grab some iron. I've got a ton of graphite. I went mining between episodes. We got a bunch of eulorium. We got all the stuff we're going to need. So, first and foremost, we're going to have to make a whole bunch of these reactor casings. So let's make a bunch of these. And... Oh, hey, would probably help if I... Let's just put some of this stuff away. There we go. And let's make four stacks worth. That will be quite enough to get us started, I think. Uh, and then, next we'll make the reactor controller. I'll need a little redstone and a diamond. Uh, so we'll make one of those. Then we're gonna need a access port, and for that it looks like I'm gonna need a piston. So, I've got redstone, I've got, uh, yep, okay, good. One, two, three. One, two, three, four and piston and then a chest as well there we go and that will make the access port and then we also need a power tap and i'm a little bit of redstone short it seems we'll just make a bunch there we go so power tap okay so, we've got our access port, we have our power tap, and we've got our controller. Those are the things that I need uh, to set up the reactor, other than the actual control rods and stuff like that. And before I set up the control rods, I want to kind of figure out just how big this reactor is going to be. So, for the time being, we're going to put this stuff away. I do want to make a diamond builder's wand uh, from the... Better Builder's Wand mod, so I'm going to need two sticks and a diamond. And we'll go like that. There we go. That'll just make building the reactor a bit faster. So I'm thinking we're actually going to put the reactor out here, and then we'll build a structure around it. Probably, uh, we'll probably get a good start on it this episode. We may not get the whole thing set up uh, in, built in this episode, but we'll at least get a good start on it. Um, I do want my excavator, so let's go and make a reactor maybe about this big. Let's see, this will be 6 by 6. I think I want a 7 by 7 interior. So, if that's 6 by 6... Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So we need this to be seven by seven. So let's just peel, actually, you know what? We can go a bit faster with the excavator here. Do do, do do, do do, okay. And I think that's enough space now, pretty sure. So it's like a 9x9, nine nine, but we'll have a 7x7 seven seven interior. Um, wow, that's going to be a really big, big reactor. Uh, maybe a little too big. <laughs> maybe a little too big. I think maybe we need to move this a little bit, because right now, just size-wise, it's, it's too much. Um, so let's put that back, and maybe... Maybe we do this. Let's go, let's say this is one corner, and we'll go one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this would be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, this thing is gonna be huge. Let's do here. And I think, I'm gonna have to change this, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do I really need a reactor this big? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> We're, you know, go big or go home. It's not like I don't have the, the graphite and the resources for it, so we're gonna go for it. 
It's gonna be a lot of stuff, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, so we do that, and then I think, I think actually, now that I think about it, these need to be, I think the ones underneath need to be a solid thing as well. So let's just do this, break those out, because I want the bottom of the reactor kind of buried into the ground. Oh, things are breaking that I don't want to. There we go. And we'll just do something. Oh, I don't want my power taps there. Let's put this stuff in here, just so inventory tweaks doesn't freak out again. There we go. Okay, and then we've got that in place. So now we just need to build it over, like so. And then up and up again, and I'm thinking these are gonna be three, three tall. Yeah, so each of our rods will have three things in it. Okay, then we'll put a power tap, we'll put our main controller here, let's just do this. So, reactor controller, we'll put our power tap and our control uh, or our access port on either side. I think I'll put the power tap here and the access port there because that makes a lot of sense to me. And then up here, I'm just going to kind of do one of those just, just for now. Actually, let's put a couple torches in here and we will build this over. It's not going to be enough to finish off the thing, but that's okay. Because then, what I'm ultimately going to do is I'm going to have some of these as the ones you can see into. So let's go back to big reactors. I want to make some of these the reactor glass, which is just regular glass and then a reactor casing. And that will make uh, one reactor glass. So uh, we are going to need a bunch more of those guys. That will hopefully be enough. I've got, oh wow. I think I just used almost all my iron right there. Ooh, okay. Okay, note to self, be more careful. Let's smelt this iron up. <laughs> eh, I used, yeah, I used a lot more iron than I intended to. Uh, didn't realize that I was running a little bit short on it. That's okay. It's fine. Not a big deal. All right, let's grab... Wow, I'm also really low on, gra on glass, too. Hmm. Okay, for now, then, let's see... That all requires iron, too. Ah! I've only got two iron ingots there. Man, I'm gonna have to go mining again. <laughs> Just for iron. <laughs> Wow, that's kind of terrible. That's actually really kind of depressing. Okay, uh, well, I am going to go ahead and put more lapis on this guy. Oh, no. Is that not... Oh, it has full... When did I get, when did I put full lapis on it? I didn't think it had. Okay, cool. Well, whatever. I've also got two modifiers remaining. So in that case, um, I didn't think I had that much lapis on this, but I guess so, okay. So in that case, we're gonna use our other two modifiers for speed. Because why not? We'll just deck this thing out with insane amounts of redstone and raise that mining level up super high. This thing will be able to fly through stuff. And in this mod pack, you get, uh, as you level up the tool farther and farther, you get pretty crazy amounts of, of uh, modifiers. So this tool will be absolutely insane when it's all said and done. Um, I think in here... Yeah, that guy's filling up. I'm just going to put this away for the moment. 
And it looks like I'm gonna have to go... I'm gonna have to go, uh, mining again and get myself some... iron, because I don't have nearly as much as I thought I did. So, away we go! Alright guys, I am back! I found an abandoned mine down here, and I found some other good stuff too. Uh, I'm not really... well, I guess I'll take the beetroot seeds, uh, and the glasses, but... This splat axe is actually a really cool, awesome tool from uh, Z-Tones, or Stones, depending on how you want to say it. And I am most... well, you know what? I can... I can take the poison. I ain't too worried about it. Um... It's a pretty awesome tool. It's no lumber axe, but it's a good find nonetheless. We can add it to our collection of stuff. Uh, which is, you know, just basically stuff to collect, if you will. Um, I've been doing all right. I've found a, probably about three stacks of iron so far, uh, which is, it's getting there. It's still not as much as we need, but it's, it's a start at least. Oh, hello. Silver, brass, uh, it's time to send some stuff home, I think. There we go. Let's just send all of that stuff home. And I'll take all of this, actually. That's all decent stuff. Uh, and actually, I might as well take these two since we're right here. Really need to invest in a magnet in the near future, I think. Let's just do that with the poison. Get rid of it that way. There we go. And yeah, I'm just kind of exploring this abandoned mine looking for iron and, you know, anything else I can scrounge up. But primarily iron, and we're doing okay. We're getting there. I uh, still have a ways to go, though. All right, guys, I am back. Check out all the stuff that we got from our mining expedition. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We did pretty good. We did pretty good. Um, I'm just going to grab all of the blocks and put those where they belong first. And then I'll get everything else sorted out. All right, guys, I am back. So I've got a whole bunch of glass made up here. I've got all my stuff put away now. Uh, so I think it is time for us to get back into making some of this stuff. Now, each one of these is seven by seven. I don't want, uh, I, I don't want this whole thing to be windows. Uh, the interior. When I say 7 by 7 I'm talking about the interiors. Um, but I thought it would be cool to have maybe a couple of 4 by 4s on like three sides, perhaps? So, let's go, let's see. That would mean 4, 8 per side, times 3, so 24 of these guys would be changed to this stuff. There we go. And then what we can do is right here, we can just knock some of this stuff out. Uh, in fact, I may actually like it a little better if it was brought in just a hair, like here. Do we prefer that? I think we prefer that. Yep, that looks better to me. Okay. Oh, and there I go doing it again. Man. Here we go. So we will inset it two on each side. Or perhaps, maybe we leave the back alone. And we just do these. Maybe we do like two by threes instead. That could be way better. Let's just see. If we do that and that on the sides. I think I like that better. There we go. So we'd have something along those lines, and that works for me. Okay, cool. So now we need to work on making our control rods and our actual Eulorium fuel thingies. So we're gonna need all this iron, we're gonna need more graphite, probably need a little bit of redstone, I think, right? Yep, a little bit of redstone. And, okay, so let's see. Um, I know I want at least one, two, three, four, five, at least five. And this thing is what, three high? 
including the ceiling, three high. Yeah, so we'll need... That'll be 15. How many of these things can I make? Okay, so I could make seven. Let's do... Let's do 15 for now. Just to save a little bit of iron, because this thing's already going to produce, like, way, way more power than I'm going to need right now. So, just for the time being, we're going to set up our reactor like this. Now, this is certainly not the best way to set up a reactor, necessarily. It's certainly not the most efficient or anything like that, but realistically... I have so much Elorium, and uh, I'm going to be using such a small percentage uh, of, of it that it, it really doesn't matter. Like, it can be kind of inefficient, and this way we have a lot of room for expansion if we decide we want to do that. So, that's what we're doing here. Uh, three, and there. There we go. Okay. Then we'll go one, two, three four, and five. There we go. We have ourselves a big reactor. And you can see it in all of its glory. Awesome. So, now we need to fill that thing up. And it's going to take almost a full stack of Eulorium. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, we could put some sort of a coolant in there right now, but I don't think it's really necessary. I think we're good. I think we're good without it. Uh, just, just temporarily. Okay. So, that's all good. Let's put all of this stuff away. And I'll put these over here. For use later. Let's take a peek and see what kind of power this thing can produce. Let's go ahead and start it up. Okay. So, we are at... 2,000... Looks like it's kind of leveling off. 3,000? Can we get 3,000? A little bit under 3,000 RF per tick at full power. Um, now, for the record, this does not need to be full power. It really only needs to be at, like, 10% of that? Because that'll knock this... And that'll knock this down to, what, 2... Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, if we bring the power way down and use only 10% capacity, it's going to use an extremely small amount of fuel per tick. And it looks like it will produce... about 650 RF per tick. That's not bad. That's not too bad. Uh, that's significantly stronger than this, obviously. So... I think that is a good thing. Now, ultimately, we're going to want to get into Tesseracts and wireless power and all sorts of crazy stuff like that. That's the eventual plan. Um, I think for the moment, I'm going to break those, grab another hardened here, and we're just going to run this guy... We're just going to run these two machines off of the big reactor just for now. Just for now. Specifically, this is the one I care about. The energetic infuser that I use to replenish my tools. Because this thing is going to quickly, quickly deplete. Uh, I'm also going to increase... We'll bring this thing up power-wise pretty considerably. Uh, just until the, the energy buffer is full, at which point whatever, because then it's got 10 million RF per tick, and I don't have, like, anything that's going to use that much RF uh, in one go, as far as replenishing tools and stuff like that. So, we have ourselves a big reactor, but guys, I am out of time for this episode, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. It really helps up my channel. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.